Mastering Critical Reading, Unraveling Text Structures. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of critical reading, more specifically, into the section of Analyzing Text Structure. Understanding how a text is structured is crucial to fully comprehend its meaning and to effectively compare and contrast it with other texts. Let's get started. Texts can be organized in a variety of ways. The most common text structures are chronological order, cause and effect, problem and solution, compare and contrast, and description. Each structure provides a different perspective on the information and can affect how we interpret it. Chronological order. This is used when the order of events matters. The events are presented in the order they occurred. Cause and effect. This structure discusses an event, cause, and the results of that event, effect. Problem and solution. The author introduces a problem and then discusses one or more solutions. Compare and contrast. This structure discusses the similarities, compare, and differences, contrast, between two or more things. Description. The author describes a topic by listing characteristics, features, and examples. The key to identifying text structures is to look for clue words or phrases. In a chronological order structure, look for words like first, next, then, and finally. In a cause and effect structure, look for because, therefore, as a result. In a problem and solution structure, words like problem, issue, solution, resolve, often appear. In a compare and contrast structure, words like similar, different, in contrast, likewise, are usually used. In a description structure, there may not be specific clue words, but the text provides detailed descriptions of a topic. Analyzing text structures not only improves your understanding but also assists in comparing and contrasting texts. For example, if two texts discuss the same topic but use different text structures, such as one using chronological order and the other cause and effect, they likely emphasize different aspects of the topic. Understanding this allows you to see the nuances in each author's approach. So, there you have it, dear learners. Text structures are the building blocks of effective reading comprehension and critical reading. They reveal the framework of a text, leading us to a deeper understanding of its meaning. Practice identifying these structures as you read, and you'll find your comparison and contrast skills improving as well. Until next time, happy reading!